So here's my uh, solar panel that I ordered from uh, Missouri Wind. Uh, came in a fairly well protected box. And a uh, little picture thing on the back. Like, uh, like we don't know this stuff already. If you're owning a panel, you're on a I already know that stuff, you know. Uh, so, uh, for my friends in Missouri Wind, here's that panel I ordered. Came in uh, a day earlier than projected and uh, was handed off to me appropriately. Uh, so, I'm building a, um, a ventilation system for a solar food dehydrator. I have another video online uh, that you can see it's for. Uh, so I just explained that basically what I was doing is buying these pans at uh, Best Buy So my system kind of grew two to two fans a week as they ship them to the store for free and I can pick them up They're seven dollars a piece And I wasn't really sure I was gonna go how wide I'm gonna go. These are se seven fans and it's point uh, eight uh, amps per fan and uh, uh, actually no uh, point, point one two, I think actually uh, it's per fan so uh, anyway you can do that and uh, so you know they're all hooked up in parallel and uh, it's on a piece of wood because I like working with wood of course fill the holes and this will mount in the top of the unit up towards the peak and it'll draw the air through the uh, solar collector which is the metal black metal under the glass and then uh, through the food and out the top um, the one that I've built so far doesn't seem like it works the way they everybody says it works so well and I don't know it's really the same way they have it um, so I spliced into the standard computer cable connector and uh, attached, you know, this cable. Kind of overdid it. I'm using a 12 gauge. It's really what I had handy. I didn't really. But this is the this cable here. By my hand here. This cable is the uh, landscaping cord. So it's uh, a little more perverse to moisture won't dry out like regular zip wire um, and it's designed for DC so it has a really fine multi-strand cable um, this will attach to my bus um, and this thing here it's actually upside down it's supposed to go like this so it's an on switch um, I got the switch at the dollars at the uh, restore store for a dollar so it's actually a, uh, a double throw a three position switch so it's kind of overkill but uh, for a dollar uh, and then this is a rheostat um, so I can change the, the speed of the blow of the fans um, so about four dollars at uh, Radio Shack and it'll handle up to three watts so uh, it's a little bit better and it's 25 ohm so it actually it works well for its purpose um, this here you know it's it, you know remember the old thermostats uh, the uh, thermometers that used to have the little cor copper coil you'd stick outside the window and you'd have your thermos thermometer inside the house well you know they don't really exist anymore <laughs> so <laughs> not readily available so I got this thing here it goes from zero it's a, of course it's a food um, thermometer but it goes up from from zero to 200 degrees so I'm going to stick this through the wall and uh, of the thing so we can kind of see what temperature is going on inside the box without getting sophisticated into something electronic which is uh, you know you know why go that route so and that brings me back to the box. So, uh, you know, of course I'm a carpenter. I like to play with wood. So, 
you know, it's wood. So this is a battery I got. Uh, this battery they have at Radio Shack for thirty dollars. Um, it's a, the fuse goes on here, and uh, of course it's red. It's red, and it's red because you know why it's red? Because there's supposed to be a fuse in here. When I bought it, it should have had a fuse in the package, and it didn't. <laughs> so the the fuse holder was four dollars at Radio Shack, and they. The extra fuses was 12. You get a package of a bunch of variety. And of course, I only want one. So, uh, I have to scoot down that fuse holder somewhere. And I'm going to probably go to tractor supply just because I don't want to buy it. Actually, the battery was $30 at Radio Shack. And it was, you know, $25.99 at... Uh, Tractor supply, so I ended up it was the same everything on it was the rating the same uh, And it looks identical except uh, This one is made for a deer feeder that you'd have out in the woods running on solar power So you could I guess you can entice deer to come to your feeder and then you can shoot them in the head Instead of being sporting like and just tracking them like some people do and uh, you know not, not to be outdone I found a uh, a uh, blank CD to use as my writing plate for my connections so you know essentially is you know here I'm going to be putting in the solar panel and then this is going to go down of course through everything to the battery and um, then I have my connections here for the switch the switch and for the rheostat and the fans they all going to hook up onto this pretty simple layout uh, this is this box is going to mount up inside the uh, the uh, dehydrator and I'm going to uh, attach the box to the outside it's just a you know box with a cover on it so that it can be accessed from the outside and it's weather tight so, I mean, it's a pretty simple layout. Uh, I can add on more fans down the end if I wish. Two more there and one down here. And um, I might do it um, probably before I put it up, though. Uh, but that's my scoop. That's the solar panel. Uh, I was trying to find something that was large enough to, for, to charge the battery and also run the fans because at night time you know there's no sun and you're uh, you, you want those fans to keep flowing air through the food so the food doesn't start absorbing uh, uh, moisture uh, if you have the other one which I have happen to have here in our kitchen okay and this here is an Excalibur if you're gonna buy yourself one for your kitchen this is the one to get the Excalibur this is a nine tray uh, I bought this off their website and got it as a uh, as a reused unit, recycled unit, which was a little less money than the other ones. It's basically you got the screens. You can see that I've done stuff with them. I guess they're dishwasher safe, but I don't have a dishwasher. So you basically you put your food out here and uh, you put the cover on here and you run it. It's got a heating element and a fan in it so that the heating element is going to actually dry your food faster. There's way back there in the corner. There's a little control for it for the fan and the heat. Uh, this caliber is the best ones on the market you can get. Uh, but this will do it in any weather conditions. And uh, my favorite is to do is strawberries. Just can't get them into the jar fast enough to uh, because you're too busy eating them. Uh, and I use lemon juice as my preservative and not the uh, commercially uh, borac acid stuff so that's the soupy poop on this the next time this is if I do another video it's going to be inside the unit have a great day